afternoon, my friends. Welcome to the Dutch Way of Life. Hey. And welcome to the Netherlands' most beautiful fortified city. Did you know that? It is officially, as of like one week ago, two weeks ago. Yeah. And not the most beautiful, only the most beautiful fortified city in the Netherlands, but also the largest fortified yeah. city in the Netherlands. Win win. The city of Horikum Spelt. Uh, G O R. It's spelled Gorinchem. That's right. Gorinchem. But don't speak it like a Boutenlander. But you say Horikum. That's it. Speak it like a <laughs> Uh, so if you're joining us today, welcome to the Dutch Way of Life. We're live in Kodakum with Adele, uh, with myself and with our friend Barry from hey. Ireland. Hello Barry. Hi there. This is nice. the, first, the first time we've met, isn't it? Yeah, finally, after, look, after a couple of years. I know, I know. <laughs> Took some time. I know. So please, if you're watching the show, Barry, just to, know, just to let you know, Barry is a friend of the channel. He's been a member of our community for a while. Yeah, we've known him virtually for quite a while. Yeah. We have. And um, today, you're going to take us on a, a guided tour of the city, Small right? tour around uh, the eastern side of the city. And we, uh, we, I hope to show you some highlights. Hey. Brilliant. You have seen some of them before, probably, but... Uh, it's you not never punishment get too to much. see them again. Yeah, That's yeah. it. Right. <laughs> uh, Barry, if somebody asks you, like, where is Horkum? And then don't know, like, maybe they're, maybe they're from outside the yeah. Netherlands. How would you explain to someone where Horkum is uh, on the map? It's uh, on the intersection of the A15 and A27 highways mm -hmm. um, in the uh, Divierland area. It's about uh -huh. 30 kilometers south of Utrecht and 30 kilometers north of uh, Breda, so it's a mm -hmm. pretty central place. That's uh, it. Yeah. That's, it. I think that's I why there's always a traffic jam around here. Oh, most, most people yeah. know it from traffic jam. As that's we, it. As we that's saw it. it this but that's morning. about to change. That's it. That's it. Because someone asked me where's Kodakum, and I was like, oh, that's quite hard for me to explain. It's sort of south of Utrecht. But north of Den Bosch, in a way, isn't it? Uh, more uh, north of Breda. North Breda, of Breda, yeah. is it? And uh, on the eastern side of Rotterdam. So right. It's, uh, if you draw a cross between uh, Tiel, Rotterdam, uh, Breda, and uh, uh, Utrecht, then you uh, you find Gorkum. Super. Yeah. And can you tell us, for the benefit of the uh, our members, what's your relationship to the city, Barry? Um, born and raised here. Um, always lived here with a lot of uh, uh, fun um, with my family. And uh, I've gotten uh, interested in uh, the history of Corkum and uh, yeah. from there people know me, see me online on Facebook and yep. uh, also in the community for a bit. That's it, so, that's yeah. it, that's it. So to be uh, part of that community and promote Corkum a bit as well. It's, it's brilliant that we're here. So Barry invited us because I think probably the prompt was that Horkum recently won the award for the Netherlands' most beautiful fortified city, didn't it? Yeah. So yeah. what so is we're it? We're celebrating today together. We are. Well, I suppose for some people, they might not know what a fortified city is or a star fort, which is what Horkum is. That's a type yeah. of city. So how would you explain to someone what that is? Um, well, it's uh, basically a, a city surrounded by uh, a thing thick wall uh, and the moat around it, so uh, it could be well defended. Mm. The, the fortifications uh, that we uh, will see are uh, from the early 17th century, around wow. they are created around 1600. Wow. For that, there was a uh, it was a walled city, but uh, uh, due to uh, progression in uh, in ammunition and uh, weaponry. They needed a better fortifications, so this uh, the city uh, was uh, uh, fortified uh, and enlarged as well. And it's built in a sort of a star shape, isn't it? Because of the the, the, the way the, the bastions and the way yeah. that it was built. So maybe we'll see a map at some point. Hopefully, we can see a map. It's quite the best way to see these types of cities is usually from above, isn't it? These star cities. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're going to be. Yeah, maybe next time we can get the Gorkum Kamainta to pay for a helicopter for us. But yeah. for now, we're going to do the next best thing and we're going to take a city walk through uh, Gorkum and we're going to see yeah. some of the nicest spots that Barry's, that Barry's got in store. So, Deli, yes. are you ready? And would you like I'm to ready. give a little shout out to people? If you are joining us, yeah. then welcome to the Dutch Way of Life. Uh, we're live from Gorkum. Uh, Barry's just introduced the city and Adele uh, is going to be uh, shouting you guys out as we go. So who have we yeah. got on the show today? Uh? We've got Caroline box with us. Colleen Jane is joining us as well. Good to see you both. And Louise and Ivy, also explorers, are ready for the tour around Coracum. Fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, I can also see we've got Louise with us, Louise Applegate. Yeah, I just uh, said Louise. Oh, did you? Sorry. <laughs> and Mary Mary from Michigan is joining us. Fancy Yay! that. And you never guess who else is here. Are you here. ready for a tour? 
Desiree well, van Balen's joining us. Hey. 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 Of course, hey. That's always great. present. So we're gonna we're gonna start walking now through the city. Uh, do you want to lead the way, Barry? And um, yeah. I'll basically follow you. And the idea is uh, with our channel that you get to experience the Netherlands and places like Hodcom sort of live in the flesh so we, we're trying to be sort of the next best things to visit in the country there's so many people around the world who would like to be in the Netherlands who've tried to come to the Netherlands in the last year or so who haven't been able to make it look the, there's my wife oh is it how did she tune into Facebook there that's that's dangerous that is, <laughs> well don't don't tell anyone about that is she gonna it's too late some, some video that's fantastic wow <laughs> So, like I said, you know, the whole point of the channel is to give you guys a window into the Netherlands and sort of take you with us as we go on our adventures. This whole show, the whole channel is sponsored by the people who have joined up on a, in the Explorers Club. So, uh, I can see there's loads of you guys uh, joined us, like Alida uh, Fulberg Colline, who's in Jordan Station. Uh, we've got Paula Boll, who's one of our new members. Uh, Del, give Paula a wave, she's in New Zealand. Hey, fantastic. Uh, who's one of our new members, and we're walking through, well, we're basically walking into the city, right? So is this part of the fortifications here, or is this just a dike? This is just a dike to the fortifications. Ah, okay. I think the first thing that we can see on the right-hand side is, I think, one of the first windmills that I ever visited in the Netherlands, oh, yeah. To be, yeah, to be truthful, yeah. The first proper windmill that I went to was the one in Willemstad. Obviously, yeah. you know, irreplaceable. But this was the second one, and what's interesting is we... Oh, they're the fortifications. Yeah, as we come into the city, we, we talked about this star-shaped fortress. Well, this is one of the... I guess this is one of the... Points. The points of the fortress, yeah. is it, Barry? Indeed, this is one of the bastions uh, that we can see here. Uh, the highest number, number 11. Uh, there are some buildings over there, we can see them uh, uh, later. There is a, a, a Kazemat. Case made. Mm -hmm. uh, Is that uh, like a house? No, it's a, a fortified um, uh, made of concrete and it a was, bunker. It's, it's a sort of bunker. Oh, okay. and it's especially made to uh, uh, be able to defend this part of the uh, city. I uh, see. I see. I see. And when were the fortifications built again? These these walls. Around 1600. So then. And you can see that the, the sort of the end of the star shape is sort of like a spearhead, isn't it? Yeah. So it points out here, and then it tucks in there, and then Indeed. goes round, and then there's another point over yeah. there. And that's the route we'll be taking as well. Oh, uh, nice! And it's always really nice on the fortifications. It's always really green. You often see yeah. a lot of trees. Let's keep walking. We're gonna enter the city uh, Get ready. on one of the newest entrances of the city because the fortifications uh, use. Uh, used to have uh, four city gates. I and see, the Porten. Yeah, the, the Stadsporten. We have one left, we'll see that one later. What? And this is uh, actually the, the uh, fifth exit of the, the city, they call it the Vijfde Uitgang. The, the Vijfde Uitgang. Because it was constructed nice. later after uh, the, the city gates were not I that see. important anymore. I see. I just want to do a couple of shout outs. We've got Willeke Klootwijk with us, who's hey. joining us from Canada, one of our club members. It's Willeke's birthday tomorrow as well. Ooh. So you might catch me singing happy this birthday. Is this is a birthday warm up, Willeke. I just remembered. So uh, happy birthday to Willeke from tomorrow. We've got Olaf van Koten is with us, who's based in Gorkum, hey. who's been a long time member of our community. So great to see you. We're in the, uh, the city of Gorkum today, if you've just tuned in. Uh, you're on the Hidden Holland Live Road Trip and I guess the whole purpose of the channel is to explore and discover places like this that maybe people outside the Netherlands are not too familiar with and Horicum is one of those hidden gems that really should be more well known than it is to be quite frank with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think one of the challenges with Horicum is it didn't have a really big hotel for a long time did it? So no. It was generally a place people would come for day trips if I'm rightly yeah, uh, correct. thinking. But, uh, but there's a new hotel isn't there? Under construction. It's, When's uh, that going to be ready Barry? I think next year 2022. And what kind uh, of hotel is it? Uh, from the Valk Hotel nice. with, uh, with cinema and a casino nice. so there's uh, something to do as well. I can see there being like a Van Balen suite. And a Buckley suite in that hotel. Reserved they should have it on different floors, please. I, obviously, <laughs> Barry, obviously. So, Mr. Van der Falk, if you're watching, uh, then, you know, um, three-bedroom suite would be fine for me and Barry. Obviously, separate suites. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but if Olaf you, just asked if you know what this bridge is. Ah, this one here. This, this bridge is to um, uh, operate the device at the end. They can uh, open up... Uh, 
the shelf so the water from the Linge can enter the Oostgracht, the I eastern see. part of the, the moat. So it's ah. part of the water management system? Yeah. I mean, what's amazing it is uh, water in the moat. if you just stop here, yeah, it can refresh the water. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of people have never sort of been into one of these fortified cities in the Netherlands. But what's amazing is, first of all, look how look how deep the dikes are. So normally, where we're from in Brabant, the dikes are not as deep as this, but you can see around the fortifications just how deep the the walls are. Uh, and that was because, if I'm not mistaken, Chorikum was part of the new Holland water line, yeah, the defensive and the system, and the old one. Yeah, both. So, uh, what they used to do was, um, whenever the enemy would uh, appear to be threatening a city, they used to flood the surrounding polders, and everywhere would be flooded, but the city would be safe, right? Yeah, the, the, the water was just high enough to... Uh, 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 not be able to go by boat and too high to go by foot. So, that's it. Uh, ah. that, that to foil the enemy, yeah. For, yeah that's uh, it. Uh, Inundation, I think it's wow. yeah. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, right, so let's keep going. Uh, Olaf says, thank him for me. I didn't know that and I always wondered what the bridge was for. There you for. go, Olaf. So, you've learned something already. Greetings to Olaf, Point. who's in uh, Khodakum, a long time member of our community. Uh, we've got, like I said, a leader with us from uh, Canada. We've got Helene Ambrosius, all the way from Kevlar in Germany. Listen, oh, if you're tuned in, I'm going to have to show that. If you're tuned in, then you're watching the Hidden Holland Road Trip. And we're really, really grateful to everyone who is taking the time to join our virtual tour today. Uh, we're here in the city of Khorikum, G-O-R-I-N-C-H-E-M, uh, on the invitation of Mr. Barry Van Balen, who is a good friend of ours, a member of our community, and is also a wealth, uh, has a wealth of knowledge about the city, and has taken us today on a guided tour. So this tour is completely free. It's basically because of people who joined our Explorers Club that we're able to do these tours. If you want to support more videos like this, if you want to become part of the um, Explorers Club, then just type the word club or explorers now and we'll uh, send you the details. I might have to put the binoculars on. What's going on there, Barry? That's the festival. Look at that. What, what, do you know what festival it is? Um, there are some uh, bands playing uh, music like you're hearing now and uh, there are some food trucks. And some uh, some stage acts, so it's uh, a culture festival uh, around the, the whole. Ah, nice shot. Thanks, <laughs> thanks bus driver. He's just doing his job. Don't shoot the messenger. So it's a little cultural his, festival going on there. That's very nice. Oh, did he? With a smile on his face. Okay, so uh, again, if you just tuned in or you've just joined the tour, we're in the city of Khodakum today on a guided uh, historical city walk with uh, our friend Mr. Barry Van Balen from Khodakum. We're going left here. Okay, let's okay. do it. The building on our right hand side, left of Oh, up here. Oh, oh, sorry, I thought you meant down there. Up My mistake. No problem. My mistake. So we're walking onto the city wall now, is it, Barry? Yep. I see. Great. Listen, if you, if you guys are watching and walking with us, do leave a comment and tell us where you're tuning in from. Uh, Del yeah. will do her best to shout out a, f a few of you guys. Yeah, we've got Jenna Wilson with us. Jenny says, thank you, Barry. All the way from the northeast of England. If you do have any questions, uh, then leave them in the comments. Shane has asked one, Barry. Okay. He says, uh, can you ask Barry if there are any times when the defences were actually used here in the city of Khorikum? Uh Yeah, there were about uh, a couple of sieges. Okay. Uh, the, the last big one uh, was in uh, the, the French war, because the French occupied the city and the Prussians uh, invade, uh, tried to free the city and uh, drive the French out. Mm. Uh, they succeeded. Was that the 1700s? But, uh, that's what, uh, 1840. I see, so late. So, uh, yeah, the, the, the last uh, gasps of Napoleon. Wow, <laughs> wow, there you go. Yeah. Thank you so, so much. Uh, so listen, if you have another question for Barry, then leave it in the comments. And uh, we're walking now, I think, up onto the, the city gate, up onto the city walls here, yep. is it? This feels like a very high point. As you can see, there's uh, lots of trees yeah, and bushes it's very around. Green. I didn't know that this was here in uh, Khodakum, because when we get into the city, we're headed down to the historical harbour, I guess, as well. Over here, Adele. So, oh, so yeah. this is the bunker that we're at Yeah, right this, now. this is the bunker. It's, ah. uh, as you can see, from 1930. It's been paid for by uh, a steel... Oh, uh, it's here. Yeah. <laughs> it's not just a photo. <laughs> yeah. It's right behind it. Wow, so that's, <laughs> that's the actual bunker. Is the it? entrance is down below. Yeah. We need can. to excavate it and uh, uh, clean it up. I'll start now. I'll start now. 
<laughs> wow, there we go. So that's from 1930s. I mean, this is yeah. this is a real exciting thing. So it, I don't know if you guys can see that. Can you see the date on the bunker down there? We're just on the outskirts, so on the city walls, and I guess that was built. Uh, well, what was it built for? Second World War, or to uh, the, to prepare, uh, or what? No, it was actually because um, there were uh, circles around Gorkum uh, in which. Uh, no houses or, or things could be built mm. because uh, of the defense. Uh, they were uh, verboden kringen, are they called in Dutch? But I'm not sure what it's called in English. They were uh, forbidden. Yeah, they were forbidden to, mm -hmm. to build. There were mm -hmm. only wooden houses mm -hmm. which could be burnt down in mm -hmm. case of uh, uh, an occupation. I see. Ah, okay. I see. And, and one of the uh, largest uh, steel fabrics we had over here uh, wanted to expand their uh, businesses on this side of the river, the Linge, the one that's uh, running uh, next to the, the Mole. Oh, yeah. Um, and to do that, they uh, paid for this Kazmat, so this could be uh, defended with a, with a cannon uh, ah. from this side, the, along the Spijkse Dijk that's uh, running here. I ah. see, so that, there would be, that would be a manned station and there would be soldiers in there. Yeah. Ah, interesting. There are pictures from the construction, so, uh, as you can see, lots of concrete. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's yeah, fascinating, yeah. like, up here on the city walls, and on the, so if we keep on walking on the left-hand side, it's, it's almost like a nature reserve, isn't it? Yeah, and you've got the river. Is this the is this the moat that oh, surrounds is, the yeah. city? This is the eastern part of the moat. We call I it the Oostgracht. And uh, well, the trees and the bushes over there. That's actually a revel in uh, over here at the, across the. So this was like an, a separate part of the fortification, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, it's uh, in front of the city, and they had uh, uh, the possibility to uh, beautiful put cannons uh, there and have uh, shooters uh, to. Uh, defend the city from the east side. There are a couple That's of it. these islands over here. So there would have been soldiers and fortifications and, and cannons on yeah, that it, piece of land there. Yeah, it was uh, totally clean with uh, some uh, some groundwork uh, behind which the cannons and the, the people could uh, could hide. I see. Mm. Uh, is the name of this the Oostgracht? Correct. I, I only know that because Olaf uh, says that he used to... Uh, he saw a beaver swimming. Yes, he saw a beaver once swimming in the Oostgracht. So That's very possible. Is there a lot of nature around these parts? Oh, you can well, see. Well, as you can see, uh, it's quite green. It is very <laughs> green, isn't it? It's a very yeah, much like a nature reserve. It's there is a path uh, on the downside around the the wall as well, but uh, that's uh, usually something uh, which is pretty grown, so it's uh, tough to. Uh, ah, so you it. can walk down yeah. on the bottom near the wall. Oh. Many people do uh, walk their dogs over there. Oh, nice. Hey. So, if you've just joined us, we're on a city walk into the city of Khorkum. It'd be great to hear from you guys if you've uh, been watching for a while. Put your name in the comments, put your location in. It's always good to hear where you guys are watching from. We've got people from all over the world who, you know, love the Netherlands, have some sort of uh, connection to the Netherlands. And um, today we're in a very beautiful city, the city of Khorkum. So, uh, we've come down into the city. Where are we headed to first, Barry? Uh, well, we'll continue along this path. Okay. But first, uh, I want to point out the building behind you. Ah. You see the, the thick uh, uh, pillars oh, yeah. on, the, on the side. This was uh, uh, gunpowder storage. Wow! On all the bastions, they had places where they could uh, uh, place the cannons, of course, and the uh, the, the main gunpowder storage was over here, so it's a, a, a wealth building, yeah. which is, uh, in case of an explosion, uh, yeah, should, yeah. Uh, uh, should withstand the explosion. So. And right. how, how, when does it date from this, this, this uh, munition storage? Um, Mid-19th century. Right, so similar time to the bunker that was built. Uh, that's 20th century. Oh, is it still 20th century? Yeah, 1930, really? 20th century. Oh, of course it was 19th Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the sign then. Yeah, no, it's right. It's good that we've got Barry here. He should come on every tour. Maybe I wouldn't get everything wrong then. Hey, we've got Maria de Maris. Oh, this Love is... your program from Australia. Oh, great to see you, Maria. Thanks so much. We will do our best to shout people out. We're walking around the... The, uh, ah. the city walls right now. Yes, yeah, so we've got we've got Martin Thomas says oh. I grew up in Horicum yeah. and miss it. Hi to Barry van Bowen. We were classmates. Yeah. 
Is that true? Martin yeah, that's true. Where, did, where, where, where are you from, Martine? That's fascinating. I'm from but where are you now? Where are you now? Ma that's, She's that, in the UK. Somewhere. Is she? Yeah. Oh, really? That is absolutely oh, unbelievable. Wow. And that is the beauty of the channel, is we don't just come out here and you know, try and bring you guys uh, a sort of a flavour of the Netherlands, a window into the country, but we also have an amazing community of people who've made friends, who've discovered new family. I saw that we had Ron and Maxie Foss with us earlier on. Hey. Uh, our Explorer Club members. And She's in Durham, Martinez. Uh, that's crazy, because I went to school in Durham. <laughs> <laughs> I lived it's in County world. Durham. She well, better not live in the village I lived in, that would be too weird. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but we're walking along the, the city walls right now, and but Lauren Hill is asking, was Barry well behaved at school? Oh, it's all coming out now, Barry. What have <laughs> we done? Okay. Hi. Oh. Okay, so we've come to sort of a, a fork in the road. Are we going right or are we going left? We go left. Uh... Super. So, like I said, if you are tuning in from uh, around the world tonight, today, uh, it might, you might be in the USA, in which case it's quite early in the morning, uh, or you might be in Australia, in which case... In case Um, or you might be in the Netherlands, and it's the same time as us. Uh, it's pretty warm today. We've got about, what is it, 26 degrees today, would you say? Yeah, yeah something like that. Yeah. It's wonderful weather. How are you oh, doing? I'm going to try and walk backwards, Bobby. I'm, I can do it. I can do it. Do you want to do a couple of shout-outs while we're here? I'll tell you about the corner. Shall I do a B-roll? <laughs> <laughs> hey, we've got Rebecca van der Linden with us. She says it looks beautiful and peaceful Great here. Great to see you guys. Hey, uh, Rebecca also purchased some miniatures from us, and we're going to be packing those up for you guys and sending them out next week. So thank you for that, Rebecca. Hey. Who else have we got? Alida's with us. She's enjoying walking on the pretty path. It's beautiful around the uh, city walls of Podcombe. John Parsons with us, enjoying the tour. You have to do training for this job. People think, people say, oh, you're so lucky. You have to train for my job. How far backwards can you walk? You just have to walk. Whilst on the, the top of a very long dyke or fortification. <laughs> That's true. That okay. has steep corners. I'm going to spin around now uh, because we are turning the corner and it looks like we're headed down to the Darlam port. Is that right? Slowly but surely. Yeah, so down yeah. here. Is it down that way? We've got uh, some, yeah. some lovely sights coming up. The centre of Khorakum is, so is a really another, historical and a very beautiful point, place. Isn't it? Another yeah. point this on the fortification. We've got this way. We've got a playground on the right side. So the, we're sort of starting off in a, in a natural way and we're going to head into the city shortly. Are these allotments? We get little gardens? Yeah, can, uh, oh, can rent yeah. them. This is. Uh, Another one of the, the, the Ravelina. So, so the citizens of the city rent these allotments and then they have the gardens and vegetables. Yeah. And what a nice spot to be by the water. That is beautiful. We have Johannes Schroeman from Australia on it with us. Uh, Colleen Walker's with us all the way from Adelaide. She's got a Dutch root, so love Colleen. She's with us on all our tours. Um, we've got Clara Ritzerner and Mensonidas. Let me eat some of these sweets and you can show the fortifications and stuff. Just just have just look, look, I'm just showing this little, these little huts down there. Can you see that? <laughs> I'd love that. I'd live there. Nice. I'd blooming live there. 300 euros a month. I'd live there. Definitely. Hey, we've got Peter, allowed, Peter, Peter Nellis. Did you think they take cats? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Good one to catch the mice. Yeah, that's true. The moles. Right, let's keep let's keep walking. So, if I was asked, uh, you said you were born in in the city of Khorakum. Yeah. Um, where did you go to school here? Are, are there a number of schools in the yeah, city? Yeah, there are multiple schools. Um, I lived in a relatively new part uh, outside the the central uh, Star Fort, um, which was uh, built around 1920, um, and th that's where I went to to, uh, to school. What's the area called, Barry? Lingewijk. Lingewijk. Yeah. Lingewijk by the river. It's uh, uh, next to the canal, and Is on it? the other side, the river de Ling. Ah. So it's uh, in between the water. We could, uh, from our house, I could see, see the ships pass by overhead. Oh. They were high. <laughs> yeah. do, do, I love that, when, was, you, uh, when the water level's higher than the ground. Yeah, that often happens there. in the Netherlands, and then you see ships so high up. It's just bizarre. Leon uh, Kriegsman Shin is asking, is that lilies in the water barrier? Are those yep. water lilies? Those are water lilies. Shall we see if we can get a closer look for you, Leon? Oh, Just a I'm minute. flowering at the moment. Let's see if we can so get a closer see. look. Leon is one of our old school members of the community. If you'd oh, like no. us to say hi to you, please leave a comment just below this video and we'll do our very best. You are watching live from the Netherlands and the whole point of 
our channel is to reconnect people around the world with the places and the people and the stories that they love and uh, it's just an absolute pleasure to be here on this Saturday afternoon. Yeah. yeah so let us know what nice time. Weather. Let us know what time it is where you guys are. We got yeah. Vicky Borden's just joined us all the way from Portland, Oregon. Hey. Hoorah! Vicky messaged me the other day. Emailed me, and I think I emailed you back. So she's one of our Explorer Club members, and it's very, very nice to see you, Vicky. Hey, we've got Thea for Kirk with us. It says Horicum City. Oh, you know, you never guess who's just joined us. D it's not only Mr. Daboon. Okay, well, hey. you welcome. Your, have we got your phone on in the car, Alexander? Or are you stopped at a service station having a little brooche and a coffee? Which is hopefully the story. Bratwurst. Oh, yeah, oh, is it in Germany? Germany. Oh, oh, my word. Can we just have a look at these houses? Because yeah. one of the things that I think a lot of people enjoy... Before we go there, yeah. I want to point out something that's uh, below here. Yeah. Please do. Tell us the story, yeah. Barry. Bit of concrete wall over here, not everyone knows it, uh, but this is uh, a remain of the, the shooting range that was here. Oh wow! A shooting range? Yeah, as you know, uh, uh, Gorkum was of course a, a, a garrison city. It was, yeah. Uh, yeah. And the, the, the military used uh, this area uh, hey, for practice. Around. So the, the, the uh, walls were military area and uh, there were three distances, 100 meters, 150 and 250. Ah, so it's a shooting range, basically. <laughs> Correct. And this, I guess this strip here is where they would shoot, is it, Barry? Yeah, and there were some targets uh, for which the foundations are still there, but uh, the rest oh. is already, uh, uh, has been torn down. I've noticed there's a few doorways in this wall here as well, on the right, yeah. so that, so like, there's rooms inside the fortifications. Well, uh, there's a door like next under to the us. shooting range, of course. Yeah. The, the access is over here, the, the small... Uh, ah, uh, so you can get wall. under. Yeah, you can uh, ah. go underneath the, the wall. Right, great. That's not open to public. Yeah. The other yeah. one is wow. open either, but yeah, I have yeah. a key. Oh! So it's the, the location of this place. If you have just joined us on the tour, I know I keep saying it, but there's a lot of people just joining now. Uh, we are on the uh, on the adventure through a city, the city of Horkum in the uh, in the in the county of in the province of South Holland, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, just in the corner. Although it can be confusing because it's changed quite a lot, hasn't it, around here? Like Leerdam and stuff used to be like Helderland, and then it was Utrecht and. Yeah, there's been there's been a lot of that. So for for a foreigner, it's quite confusing, Barry. I have to say, <laughs> for us as Dutch people, uh, it is as well. And also, I, I sometimes insult people when I say, "Oh, it's so nice to be in Brabant." And say, what like, do you mean what? in Brabant? <laughs> We're in Gelderland. Oh, sh don't step back too much. Okay. Otherwise, uh, <laughs> I just want to show uh, you guys, though. I said earlier, one of the things people quite enjoy uh, with our channel is <laughs> just seeing sort of everyday life. And of course, you know, we're on like this historical city walk today. Uh, however, it is really nice just to see how people live here. So what I'm going to do, without invading their privacy too much, I'm just going to put um, the binoculars on, so just so you can see these really, really nice, nicely kept houses. We've got Mate Colset with us. Says I lived in Horicum for six months. It was beautiful. I'll never forget that city. I think he lives in Tilburg now, if I'm not ah. mistaken. And Helmy's with rate. us. <laughs> Helmy Lyons with us. That's fine to talk, Barry. Shirt. That's fine to talk, Barry. Everything is Sorry, Tilburg. Uh, you were going to shout some out. I'm Sorry. saying Helmy's with us. It's 8 p.m. in um, Australia. Where oh, Helmy is. hi, Helmy. Helmy Lyons just joined us. Shane says, this is great. We are really getting to see bits of the Netherlands that we wouldn't yes. normally see. That's the idea. Barry, are we heading going to down. see the Darling Port? I'm we're getting hungry. Down. I'm hungry for culture. Hungry for culture? Well, because the centre of Khorkum, I think it's one of the most beautiful cent centres that we've seen so far. I mean, Friesland is pretty nice. Yeah, they have great cities as well. But I, one of the things that I wrote when I sent the email out to people this morning on our email list to remind them of the tour was that I think the majesty and the regalness of the centre of Khorkum equals any, any nice kracht in Amsterdam or Utrecht, like... Khorikum is really, when I first drove in, you feel like you've come into somewhere really important and special. It's so, it's as majestic as somewhere like Harlem or somewhere like that, in my opinion. Would you agree? Uh, absolutely. It's it's an amazing uh, place. Oh! Oh, is that a water tower? It's not a little That's cat. A water tower. She's come out with a little cat and the cat's having a little dig. Check Sorry. that out. Just be I'm no, it's all right. cats. 
Wow. 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 We can do a walk up there uh, in a bit, but first we need to go down here. Oh, okay, oh. down the stairs. There's something special over here. Further down. Here we go. Lead the way, Barry. Is we going to see the cat? And if you are uh, just Cute with cat. us now, with Mr. Thierry van Baalen and uh, Ms. Adele Jackson and me, Bob Buckley, then we appreciate you guys joining us. We're here on a, a bit of a special invitation, really, because Chodicum, two reasons you want to watch this show. Number one, Chodicum recently won the Netherlands' most beautiful fortified city, and we're just sort of walking around the fortifications. Like, what have you got Whoa. there? Oh, wow, look at that! Barry, what's this? <gasps> Keys. Sure, that is amazing, it's huge. We've also yeah. got our guy, tour guide, Mr. Barry from Baal. So Look if you've got any that. questions about Chodicum, about the history, about the culture, uh, we're live today from the Netherlands, from the city key. of Chodicum, uh, and this is the, uh, the Dutch way of life. So when's this key from? Uh, I think one's an original, and uh, I think it's uh, on the top stone there. Oh, wow, what, the what, key is what, from... What, you're not taking us prisoner, <gasps> are you, Barry? Yeah. <laughs> Is this it? This is ransom. This is goodbye. <laughs> this is an escape room. <laughs> Thanks, Barry. <laughs> Tell, sorry, let's be serious. What, what is this, Barry? This is interesting. What is this? This is uh, the poterna. Uh, I'm not sure what the English word for it poterna. is. Poterna. Poterna, yeah. And what was it used for, this, it's, this, uh, this place? It's a walkthrough underneath the city walls. I see. Um, so is it a tunnel? It's, a, it's sort of a tunnel. Uh -huh. Wow. Um, and there's something special about this one. Uh, in 1811, uh, the Emperor Napoleon visited our city mm -hmm. and he did an inspection of the of the military uh, buildings uh, as well as the uh, the garrison and during his inspection he noticed that it would be difficult to man uh, and equip the the uh, the islands just here in, in front the the, Ra the Revelins. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so he uh, commissioned to build this uh, gateway to uh, the other side of the, the wall, so they could uh, bring uh, their equipment to the, the Revelins and ah. retreat, retreat quickly as well. I see. Oh, wow. So this uh, wow. is uh, commissioned it's by... It's like a the secret audience. tunnel? It's like a secret tunnel. <laughs> Even if it wasn't secret, it's always better to call it a secret tunnel, because it makes it more exciting. Can we just say, though, we have to be careful about the internet, Barry. Yeah, yeah. Um, I hope... Uh, it can stay on this side. I hope you're not for too afraid of spiders. No. Not really. No. No. I'm only afraid of the internet them. dropping out. That's yeah, the only yeah, thing yeah, I'm yeah. afraid of. Because the problem is, this is very thick stone. Oh, wow. Look there. Oh, my word. Here. Look at this. Look. Holy smokes. Here's another wow. one. What is this? Listen, if you've just joined us, we're in, on, in the city of Horakum with our friend and tour guide uh, Barry van Balen and he's just surprised us by he says, wow, showing us these real, amazing tunnels. What, what year were these built again then? Oh, that's the year 1813. Yeah, put in a stone so I don't have to remember. Good night. <laughs> well done. It's always useful. Thank you, Masons of the Netherlands. 1813. You can smell the oldness, can't you? You can smell yeah. the oldness. It smells like an wow. antique store. Listen, this is amazing. So this it is was, like uh, a real adventure. Built in two years. It looks really clean. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been restored, um, yeah. and as you can see, uh, there's some kind of construction in the middle. Yeah. And that's uh, to hold out the water in case of the, the, the water uh, the, uh, rises. Uh, right. They want to prevent, prevent the city from flooding, so they can put some beams in this construction uh. and fill that with sand uh, yeah. and, uh, so it's, uh, it can uh, withstand the water. Yeah, yeah. Should I just point to it? Yeah, and what is, because my feeling is we would lose, we would lose connection. Like what is yeah. through there though, Barry? What is that? The other side. Oh, so you can just <laughs> walk straight through? Yeah, we can, we can walk through and uh, then uh, open the door on the other side as well. What's your connection like? like? Oh, uh, yeah, the video is still playing. What do you guys think? Would you guys like to walk through? Listen, we'll give we'll give them the choice. So, um, uh, if you'd like us to try and walk through, how far is it, Barry? Uh, it's yeah. twice this length. Right. So, if you'd like it's us to try and walk through, then type the word tunnel now. But if you'd like to spare us potential embarrassment by the stream cutting out, say no tunnel in the comments. You guys get to choose. Um, I tried to make it as interactive as possible, even if it's just to find out whether we go through the tunnel. My feeling is we could have an issue with the internet, but um, we the don't The internet really. looks okay, and when we get out the other side, it'll be fine. Okay. I Look. could hold the internet here and then sprint through behind you. No, I think that's not a good idea. Kobe M says tunnel, Sherry and John say tunnel, Olaf says tunnel, tunnel. Christine tunnel. says try tunnel. it. Paul, everyone tunnel. says try it. Tunnel. <laughs> Unanimous vote. Right. Okay, Barry. Let's give it a shot. Let's do it.
We're going through the tunnel. Listen, this is live from the Netherlands here on the Dutch Rail. I'm going to Watch hopefully the Watch the steps. Oh no, we're losing connection. Oh yeah, yeah, big time. Okay. Oh, that was so close. No, you can do it, Barry. No, we was losing connection. That would that would that would deconnect. Can you go through, Barry, for me? I can go through. You go through, and then what I'll do is I'll zoom right in, and maybe just maybe maybe we can sprint. You through. guys can see the other side. Can you see him? Sorry about that, guys, but I could not risk losing connection. So we're going to stand here, put the binoculars on. And there is the I other side. The I reckon we, we can got go it on. We got it on, on. Look, we got it on camera. We can go through fast. No, I think we'll lose connection. Oh, what if I hold? You go through. I hold the route we're here. Imagine if it was a town hall steps. Go, go, go. Bobby, you're not listening to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying if I hold the route we're here, you can go through, and then I'll like sprint behind you. No, that won't work. I think you should sprint. I just want to sprint. You sprint through. Okay. Go, Adele. No, go, go, go. Where, where we, I'll see what it looks like. Just walk through. Look, we want to get into the town, right? Yeah. There you go. Look at that. She's through. Give her a round of applause, everyone. Come on. There we go. Right, I'm, I'm going to step back now. Wow. That is amazing. I'm not going to go through because what will happen is we'll lose connection and you guys will... Uh, you guys will get kicked off and that was that. But it's, it's an amazing thing and I just want you to say thanks to Barry uh, for bringing us here into Holocom. We are going to get onto the, the city part of the tour shortly. I'm just going to turn the camera around, but thanks, thanks for joining us. My name is Bob Buckley. I've got my other hat on today. Look at this one. Uh, and you're watching The Dutch River Life. And basically the aim is to, today is to explore one of the, well, the most beautiful um, historical fortified city in the Netherlands, Holocom. I've got my t-shirt on as you can see and my uh, Gilda pendant. These guys are back out of the tunnel now and uh, you're live with us in the Netherlands. So wherever you are in the world, no matter how small the place is that you live in, put your name in, put your comments uh, in the, the bit below the video. Let us know you're here. We love to hear from you guys. We read all the comments on the way home uh, and we're live in Khodokum with Barry. I'm just going to show the shutting the door now. That was great. Nice sound. There we go. Oh, Whoa. that was solid. Heavy 200 yellow board. Thanks, man. Wow. I, the thing is, I told you, like, if we lose connection, then everybody gets kicked off, and nobody wants that. Yeah. Barry, can we get into the city now? Can we do a bit of a city, city yeah. part? We can. Uh, I'm excited to see the city. We can do the, the water tower and then go on to the waterport, which is very nearby. Nice. Super. So the water tower is just up here then, I guess. I can see it on the left-hand side. Is this still in use, this water tower? Uh, yes, but not what it's built for. Ah, right. Because so what's the was, story? Um, well, it, uh, it was out of use uh, when um, the, the water... Uh, what's it called? <laughs> water lighting. The water board? The plumbing, uh, the, uh, uh, ah, had the water. city plumbing. Yeah, ah. and that was, uh, was arranged for. But they left, uh, luckily, left this uh, standing, and in the mid '80s, they um, wow, transformed it to uh, to houses. Right. So it's Even apartments now, is yeah. it? Yeah. Right. That's pretty cool. We're just in like a little neighborhood area. Looks like a sort of quite a normal little neighborhood, and then in the middle of it is this is this huge water tower. Is this a is this like a well-known landmark of the city? Would you say uh, it, is, it is a monument? Uh, it's uh, from 1880 or something. Spectacular, that. Look at that. Wow. It's beautiful. Listen, like if you've just joined us, do say hi. Like we got May Hotchkiss Johnson who's with us. Uh, Christine Vermeer is also here. Thank John you. Parsons joined us. Stuart Husband's here. Maria Elena's here who uh, ordered a supporters pack recently. We sent after her. Yes. And we're headed into the city of Khodokum. You're looking great. And also your hair. Ooh. It looks really good. Curled it especially. Yes, I remember. Uh, shall we walk into the city then, Barry? Yeah, let's first uh, go to the Dalen Port. Okay, Dalen super. Okay. Super, let's do it. Is it oh, that's is very it? Dutch. They've got their uh, apartment. They've got their apartment. duvet coming out of the window. Look at that. So if you're, uh, do say hi in the comments if you are tuned in. We're in the city oh, of Holocom wow. today, um, exploring and discovering this lovely city. We've been here five or six no times. Anyway, we could, uh, and everybody yeah, yeah. has always enjoyed the trips, Just and check. Barry invited us back here today to take a proper guided tour. So we've been going now about, about half an hour and we're headed from the fortifications of Gorkham 
into the city. There's quite a few interesting stories about Khodakum, isn't there? There isn't there a story about the Gorkum Martyrs? We're going, uh, yeah, um, we're going back to the, the, the fortification oh, and yeah. from there to the Dalaport. Let's, do, let's the do shortest route. The Martyrs, yeah. Yeah, what were, were the Gorkum Martyrs? What was that all about? Because I've heard about that story. Um, I don't know the complete story to tell you, but they were um, uh, Catholics captured here in, in Gorkum. And uh, uh, there were 13 monks, and they were um, uh, transported uh, to uh, the Dembriel. Yeah, You've probably been yeah. there. Yeah, we have. One yeah. of your tours. Yeah, um, and they were murdered there uh, because of their uh, beliefs. Ah, I see. Right, and that's why they call them the Gorkum Martyrs. Yeah, interesting. They were held captive in uh, in the Blaue Toren. That's a, a castle that once uh, stood at the river Merwede. Ah, oh, wow. Really majestic, but uh, wow. they, they tore it down oh. when they built the new city walls. Yeah. That's a beautiful building, guys. Look at that on the right hand side. It's a lamb. That's a gorgeous style. That's almost like an Art Deco 1930s type of style yeah. of building, isn't it? About that time. With that beautiful, uh, what do they call these? Dormer. The Dormer yeah. window. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Very typical Dutch style. Uh, and as we get Sherry and John Parr with us. Oh my word, I love those Yay. guys. Great to see you guys. Sherry and John Parr are one of our Explorer Club members, and they're always on the history, uh, the history course. As part of our Explorer Club, by the way, we are starting up the history course again very soon. After the summer break. We're going to be focusing on the 80 Years' War, or the so-called Dutch Revolt. Apparently, they don't call it the 80 Years' War anymore. It's no? now no, oh. it's now the Dutch Revolt. Okay. Uh, because the 80 years war is the idea that it was two like equal sides and there was some sort of whereas really it was it was a revolt wasn't it it was a liberation yeah. from the spanish so uh, i can see now i spotted another windmill so th that tells me that we are headed into the city if you guys can see that in the distance then type the word windmill now and uh, you win yep. the best We've eyes got, of the community hey award. wilma fain's just with us hello wilma says i i see they still are bedding each morning Oh, that must be a early now. Oh, she still puts her, her bedding through the window. Oh, yeah, oh. yeah. They still air bedding yeah. each morning. People yeah, we saw that. that on the way. That, they're nice apartments as well. Look at those. Yeah. One of the things that I love about Khodakum is the, uh, the town planning is very nice. Uh, so you've got the lovely historical centre where we're going to now. But you've also got some, I think, what are quite nice modern developments outside the city. Would yeah. you agree? Yeah, that's where I live. Ah. Hey. Eastside. side. But, and ta uh, tasteful and in, in keeping with the style of the city and I think that's one of the things that a lot of people appreciate about the Netherlands is you've been able to retain a lot of the style and the, the feeling of the place by forcing people to build in a way that complements the location yeah. and I think that's a great thing personally. I know it's hard sometimes if you want to build a house <laughs> uh, but on the other hand, it allows us to still see all this old heritage and to see it in its in a in a nice space rather than being surrounded by, yep. you know, horrible modern buildings. Oh, look at that. Hey, I just want to say a quick hi to Debbie and John Adair. They're watching, um, and their cousins also watching from Canada. Oh, hello, Debbie and John. Great to see you guys. Some of our Explorer Club members. Sonia Velasco Jimenez, another game. explorer. From Spain. From Spain. Sonia, do you speak she Spanish, Barry? Holy moly. Not at all. No. No. no habla Hi. Cerveza. <laughs> I, well, all I can Spanish. say is, Oye mi canto. That's Gloria Estefan's song. <laughs> Listen to my song. It's Oye either watch me dance or hear my song. I think it's hear my song. <laughs> anyway, we're in the Netherlands live today in the city of Khodakum. And we've got on the on the left hand side the Mole and the Hope. We've been there a couple of times and met the Miller from there. He's a right character, Jamie isn't he? Winter. Probably there as well. Yeah. So um, this, this looks like part of the fortifications, and we're headed down. Yeah. We're, we're going down the path. Oh, are we? Oh. Uh, Lead the way, Barry. So this, this we're still on the fortifications here. Yeah. Yeah, we're still on the on the fortifications, and this is another uh, uh, storage area for uh, gunpowder. Oh, oh wow! Really? You've got the main one over there, and uh, one building we didn't see was the laboratory, and they uh, um, packed the uh, the gunpowder in smaller bags, so they have the have the uh, right amount right. for a cannon shot. Yeah, yeah. It's beautiful. We've got the. Uh, the logo of Muy Chodokum there. Didn't you recently have a 
Didn't you recently have a TV personality uh, visit? Gorkum? Yeah, Maarten van Rossum uh, with his uh, brother and sister. Uh, Maarten van Rossum is, is, is the famous historian, isn't he? He's a historian, uh, always in a game show. The yeah, the I, I remember uh, him. I remember him. I wonder if he knows about us. He probably does, uh, doesn't he? <laughs> probably watches us. I imagine all the does. time. Yeah, I'm sure that's where he gets his inspiration from. He's like, oh, I watched the Dutch Way of Life video from Gorkum. Let's go there for our TV, yeah. national TV. It's obvious. How about this? Is this a little entrance? This is an air canal to keep uh, the, the airflow unruly going. Unruly chilled? I mean, unruly... Sorry. <laughs> to keep the beer chilled. Yeah. <laughs> to keep the beer chilled. <laughs> Stop telling the oh, secrets. Okay. It would be a good place for a brewery now. Yeah, but they are, they are relatively small, so yeah, uh, yeah. it will be, uh, will be tough. But yeah, this was yeah. uh, to uh, keep the air flowing, so the gunpowder... Right, uh, right, right, right. So that's dry. to keep, the, keep your powder dry. I'll yeah. tell you what, Barry, that is a phrase in English. Yeah. To keep your powder dry, yeah. Is it? Yeah, yeah, just to be patient. Okay. Be worse to, than to, wet to, to hang, hang loose, to, keep, to, to hang back, to keep you patient. Is that right? If you're watching now and you're joining us on the... Uh, I've never heard it. ...the city walk, then just confirm to me that to keep your powder dry means to just hang tight and don't make a move and be patient. I think that's what it means. Hey, there's blackberries um, growing on the walls there. Oh, this, is the, this is the moment everybody's been waiting for. Well, I mean, uh, there's two windmills in this city, and this is well, one of them, my friends. That's the standing nettles. <laughs> And in the background, can you guys see the boat in the background? It's yeah, that's a big moving. boat. See that? Hey, we've got Frank Schutemarker with us from Cape Town. Oh, great to see you, Frank. We're going to be uh, walking through Chodokum today, so stay with us. I don't know if you guys can see that boat on the river. Is that That's the River Merveder, just so I get it right, is yeah, it? Yeah, totally correct. I often get it wrong, so it's hard, though. There's a lot of rivers around this area, isn't there? Yeah. Look at that wind. Oh, Shane says yes, it does. Holy moly. The powder dry thing. If you've just joined us, we're in Chodokum, and uh, I just want to say hi to all our Explorer Club members, Alida and Shane, uh, and uh, everyone else who's tuned in who's decided to support us through our Explorers Club. It's because of you guys that we can actually continue and survive and that we can make these types of videos. So uh, if, if people want to join the club and support us, what do they need to do? Just comment club or Explorer and we'll send you the details. That's you can it. Check it out. Super. And if there are Explorer Club members on who want to leave their comments about their experience of being part of our community, maybe it sounds like your thing. Maybe you're a, a Dutchie abroad or you're someone who enjoys Dutch culture and you want a, a sort of family to be able to connect to and to uh, share in the joy with, then um, we invite you to join us. We're here in Chodokum today. It's a special live tour and with Barry van Baal. So remind me what the name of this mill is again, Barry. The Hope. The Hope. Oh, the Mill. Well, it's easily Hope. translatable to English, I think. <laughs> well, I thought that myself, but what I did learn, and it may not be true with this place, is that the hope doesn't actually refer to hope, but it refers to the hill, the hill. upon which the windmill is built. Could be. So I'm not, I was never sure whether it was that or whether it was hope. So if you know the answer, please put it in the comments. Yeah. Uh, th this is beautiful, man. Yeah, wow, we're in a bit of a sun trap here. It's warm. Don't go back too far. Oh, thanks, <laughs> thanks, Barry. Just trying to show these guys. I mean, we're still at the bottom of the windmill now, and I mean, this is a spectacular windmill. It's it's very high. We even got a groupie, oh. my wife, oh. Desiree. Oh. <laughs> I won't oh, film okay. you, but don't, Desiree, don't worry. Can you, can everyone say hello to Desiree? We're here today with uh, Barry van Balen, and Desiree is Barry's wife. She doesn't want to be filmed, but Barry's kindly taken his time to yeah. guide us around the city of Chodokum. We're about to go into the city. We've got like around 100 people watching. Hey. And wherever you are in the world, please say uh, hello. And if you want to thank anyone, please thank Barry for inviting us to uh, yeah. walk around Chodokum. He's going to be showing us around. And if you have any questions about the city, how to get here, where to stay, where to eat, uh, then you can leave those in the comments. Desiree is behind. Very nice to meet you, Alas. Hey. Hey. I know, it's so nice, finally. Finally. The Van Barlands hey. meet the Buckley. Right. I know. So, welcome How, to our city. Thank you so um, much. Again, yeah. But yeah. Welcome life. Yeah. It's great. We've Barry's. He should do this for his his I, life. He's so good. I, I told him. He's so great. <laughs> uh, if you're enjoying it, please thank Barry. Um, we're going to be heading on into the city now. In the background, what can we see there, Barry? Yeah, that's that building rather looks a beautiful, interesting. A beautiful With the skyline, clock, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And then there's the you church mean, uh, the, in the background. Yeah, yeah, both. Both have a clock. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But the first one we see here is is the Dalem Gate, one of the, oh, uh, the city gates. <laughs> tells you about port. earlier and this is the last remaining one here in the city of the ah. four we had uh, 
It's so, a nice uh, view from here with the cannons and the Dalen Port and then the church in the background. Yeah, it's a typically Dutch view. Yeah. yeah. We will be walking up close to the Dalen Port, so stick around if you want to see it up close and personal. In the foreground, you can see a couple of cannons there. Yeah. Obviously prepared for the English invasion that's happening today. <laughs> they prepared themselves. They won't come from Brabant. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, however. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so we're going to... That's over there. I know, we're not inside. I told you I'd insult someone, didn't I, if I said about yeah. Brabant. Uh, so we're on the River Merveda now, which is basically the river upon which Khodakum lies. Is that not true? Yeah, there are two rivers, uh, the, the Linge, uh, which comes out into the, the, the Merwede, flows. Uh, I mean, there's just so much water around here. This and is a gorgeous spot. There's loads of people yeah. having picnics and walking their dogs. Yeah, Are they, the, is this part of the fortification still, or is this just yeah, islands? Yeah, it's part of the fortifications. Right, right. They, they need to redo it because it's uh, 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 exact. Uh, like sinking. Eroded. Yeah. Yeah. Eroded. So uh, we hope uh, they will find funding for it. Ah. Because the dikes will be uh, made a bit higher again. Right. New, uh, new norms. So that, uh, yeah, yeah. This is uh, one of the favorite areas to walk the dog. Oh, it's fishing. a gorgeous area when you're under the molen, like seeing the yeah, church in the, the background. City, yeah. And then all the boats going past. Yeah. Such a nice spot, you can hear Beautiful. all the crickets too. I'm not sure if you've been there. On the other side of the river you can see Woudrichem. Oh! We have been to Woudrichem. I don't think I have, but you So have. called Vorkum by the locals. Uh, Woerkum. Woerkum. Woerkum is in Friesland. Sorry. Woerkum is over here. I got it wrong. Damn. We try. Damn, <laughs> damn you Dutch pronunciation. Woerkum. Uh, yeah, we've been to uh, Woudrichem, but uh, we'd love to go again. And you've also got Slot Luverstein uh, yeah, over there as well, haven't you? Further uh, down the river, but uh, we can see it from here. The good news is you can take a ferry from Chodokum. We'll probably walk past there, I imagine, and have a yeah. little look, won't we? Um, are, you, are you joining us? Um, yeah, I can join you uh, a little bit. It's okay. very nice to meet you at last. Yeah, yeah. So nice to meet you. You've, <laughs> you've been a part of the community for a long time, yeah, haven't you? Yeah, well. I know, it's so funny <laughs> it's, because uh, we're still here and we can't believe that we're still in the Netherlands, still doing what we're doing. And yeah, but uh, Ooh, fully, when you sh we're still doing the dictionary stuff. Do you remember? <laughs> yeah, that was so funny. <laughs> it's so great because, you know, we were talking to Barry before we oh, started and it's like, yeah. we, for us, these Somewhere tours that we do, yeah, yeah. the whole point is that we just come out here and we re record it. We don't put anything on, we don't like pretend, we just enjoy it. And I think so many people are tired of like, just fake sort of professional <laughs> yeah. fancy videos and what we try and do is just give people a view into the Netherlands just into your watch. place you know so uh, yeah if you are joining us we're now going to head into yeah. the city let's let's get into the city where it's a bit cooler uh, this is where the real fun begins I mean Khorkum is one of the most well-kept cities I mean you talk about clean one of the things people say about our virtual tours when they come with us is oh, aren't the city so clean and um, it's true. And you might think otherwise, but when we come to somewhere like Khodakum, it's like, We're wow. Dutch. We like to complain. I, well, I don't want to say anything about that. Yeah, but. No it? comment. <laughs> you can no say that. Oh, Bobby. Uh, There's something here. Oh, I sit there. What's that? There's something. This is just a piece of, of old wall, but there's something nice in there. Oh, Ooh. tell us. You zoom in. I can spot something. Yeah. What have we got here? We're just on the outskirts by the Molen, uh, by the way. Was that? What is that, Barry? That is a memory brick. There's uh, an artist here in Gorkum. Sarah Banksy. He, sort uh. of, yeah. He's, uh, uh, he, no one knows his name or his identity. The nameless one. And he hit about 40 of such small uh, bricks wow. around the city. Is it? <gasps> yeah. We've already passed a number of them. I didn't point them out then. But uh, there's a, you can search for them. Uh, there's a, a list of all of them. Uh, so you can uh, try to find all of the memory bricks. Wow, right. interesting. Very nice. And the, most of the things that are in there are nostalgic items, like a yeah, yeah. uh, toothbrush. Uh, it's like in resin or something. That's so yeah. nice. Yeah. It might, it'd be interesting to know, like with people watching the show right now, because a lot, a lot of our members have Dutch heritage. and. and It'd be interesting to know what you'd put in your memory brick if you were going to make a memory brick. I mean, there's there's matches in there, isn't there? Yeah. Um, but if you're watching now, put it in the comments what you'd what you'd put in your what memory brick. What would you add brick. to the brick in the wall? 
I don't know what I'd... I'm quite a fan of old Dutch stuff, to be honest. Yeah. So, the Kringloopwinkel is my paradise. <laughs> oh, uh, which is re- paradise is here. I know it's not good, though, because you go in thinking, oh, I'll just have a little look yeah, around the, the thrift store. And then you come away with, like, five Delft blue plates, and you're like, shit, what, what happened? Just in case you don't know, the Kringloopwinkel is the second-hand store. The thrift store, I think thrift Americans store, call it. Yeah, That's yeah. it, yeah. Look at that in the distance there. This is the Dalham port. Is the, is the, time, is the time right? Uh, yeah. Mm. No, it's not ah, quarter to three. No, not no, quite no, right. No, it's not. It's supposed to be Come on, from mine to Chorkum, wind up your clock. Fix that. You need a clock winder, obviously. That's what's missing. Listen, if you have just tuned in, then we're in the uh, Dutch city of Chorkum. We're headed into the city now. We've been walking around the, the city walls. Chorkum is a fortified city, and it recently won the award for the most beautiful fortified city. I mean, to be honest with you, how it beat Willemstadt, I'll never know. But that's just my opinion, Barry. It's just my opinion. <laughs> oh, no. That's been nice. I know, honestly, I think the special thing you'll see in a moment, because basically we're going to walk into the city, past the port. It is a unique place. There's a reason I've come back seven times. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Like, this is a special city, and we discovered it on a Sunday afternoon. And because I think, is it fair to say that Khorkum is quite a religious city? Uh, yes. Actually, part so of Sunday the, is quite quiet the in, last in winter. Bit of the Bible Belt, is it? Uh, yeah, there are... I didn't know whether to say the Bible Belt. So I might be a bit disrespectful. Yeah. No, that's is that okay. What we call it okay. <laughs> uh, but on a Sunday afternoon in winter, Chorakum is basically a ghost town. Nobody is on the streets because they're either in the church or whatever. And we came, me and my brother, and we just couldn't believe how beautiful it was. Uh, there's the old historical harbour in the centre. Uh, you've got the old church, the old city, <coughs> city hall. Oh, nice. It's beautiful. So if you want to see all these things, stay on board. You are watching the Dutch Royal Life. And we're taking you guys live around the city of Horkum here in the Netherlands. Uh, this is completely uh, self-funded. We get our, all our support from people who choose to uh, join our Explorers Club. Everyone who joins gets the chance to send us anywhere in the Netherlands that they want, as well as access to our events and our content uh, and our, um, our expertise. So if you'd like to join, type the word club. We've got a special offer on at the moment on the annual subscription and there's loads of people who've joined the club on the show. So uh, if you do want to ask any questions, put them in the comments. And if you want to join up and help, uh, Adele and I continue doing what we're doing. Yeah, then comment club and I'll send you the details. <laughs> and Absolutely for now... Absolutely beautiful. Look at this. Here is the Dalham port or the, the old city Look gate. Look at this. So Barry said there, were, there was four and this is the last one standing. Should have said Van Rossum. Last man standing. He looks different than on TV. <laughs> he's quite... Well, he's, a bit, he's a bit younger. Yeah. Not quite as good looking and his beard's not as long. We have a 3 p.m. appointment. Do you? Right. We, we need to... Uh, well, we need to see this... Re- place, but we can go through and just... Uh, well, my, my suggestion is, because we've only got half an hour, yeah. it would be great to yeah. see the city. Okay. Because, to be honest with you, you and I know that one and a half hours is not enough to see no. Kodakum, but what we'd tr- like to try and do is show, like... Like the best bits, and I think the Lingerhaven and the church. That's a, that's a wonderful bit. Well, it, you know, a lot of people have never seen anything like the Lingerhaven, and we, as we turn the corner in a moment, we'll come into a big square, which is the, now the car park, and then we go through the car park here, and you come out into the Lingerhaven. And when we came, we'd never, as, as English people, me and my brother, we'd never seen anything like that before. No, the, the city is divided by the harbour. It's unbelievable, like the houses, the way it's built, it's yeah. it's a unique thing. And, uh, you know, if you're not from the Netherlands, if you're from the Netherlands, the good chance is that you're used to seeing this stuff. And I think one of the things, Barry, that people tell us a lot is, especially Dutch people, like, they, they see their place differently after watching our show and they get, they sort of start to ask themselves, oh, you know, maybe my place is nice after all. Yeah. And I really like Through that. Through your eyes. Yeah, well, also, I think, you know, the whole point of the thing, our show, is that you find beauty wherever you are. So even if there's someone watching now who thinks they live in the grottiest place in the world, like, if you look for beauty, you'll find it. And we just happen to be lucky enough to live in a place where there's a lot of it. It's interesting to stop here. Oh, this is fantastic. So we're on the Lombardstraat now, if you're following us. Lombardstraat, very famous banking family, the Lombards, from Italy, if I'm not mistaken. Bobby, this is, uh... I'm just wondering, like, time-wise, yeah. you don't have to... Just like time-wise, if we try and yeah. cram the whole rest of the city in now, we've already... Well, we're going to go, we're going to walk to the Lingerhaven. Okay. Okay. Oh, go on then. This, ha- this is the house of Esther of Riesland. Uh-huh. She was a Dutch-Jewish girl. I see. And um, the whole family, like many others, got the, deported. Right. Uh, yeah. 
and they were murdered uh, in Auschwitz, I believe. Uh, there are some uh, stifle stater here uh, in the in the in the floor. So these uh, are like Stolpersteine? Yeah, these are Stolpersteine. Ah, so they're like commemorative stones. And Esther van Friesland is the youngest one uh, in the family. Uh, but there's something special about her. Just like Anne Frank, she wrote a diary about uh, in her period what she experienced during the first period of the war. And that got published in the, in the 90s. So that's, uh, this is our own uh, Anne Frank. Yeah. yeah. The Second World War. Was Second World War. And during she, uh, the persecution. Yeah. The, the Germans, uh, they uh, uh, kicked them out of the house. So they went to live with family on the Lange Dijk. And when they got uh, uh, picked up there by the Germans and to be deported, the, she threw the diary on the roof and uh, a friend of them uh, picked it up. Wow. So it's, uh, it's a treasure that has uh, been saved. Wow. Yeah. wow. Thank you. Well, that's, uh, that's amazing. I think if you're enjoying these stories, yeah, like, that's yeah. a brilliant. I, I never knew about that, to be honest. Yeah. And if you are enjoying them, please say thank you to Barry and leave a little comment if you're just joining with us. Yeah, We're Roger's just talking. Heading on. into the sea. Hello, Roger, all Roger, the way from Waterford. Yay. Uh, what's this square called, Desiree? Where are we now? Oh, I'm not good at this. Really? No, no, no. no you Roger. surely know what this, this is. is. She's been here be for, a, for... I just lived here for <laughs> under 20 years. I don't know. Well, <laughs> the, where is, is it Lombard Plain? No, this is the Kalkhaven. Oh, and it's nearly. used to be a harbour. So, uh, shame it got uh, closed down. Would be great if, just oh, like so in Breda. So this Utrecht. would have been water at one this, point. Ah, yeah. so this would have been a second harbour as well as the other one that we're about to see, is it? Yeah. Uh -huh. Was connected via. Uh, these houses are amazing. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful patrician houses. houses. Look at these. Can we walk through to the Lingerhafen here? Um, I suggest to go through the Robberstraat. Okay, let's do it. That is a beautiful house. We're here in the city of Khorakum. We're coming to the, uh, the sort of the, the final part of the tour. And we're hey, headed. Naja's joined us. Oh, hi, Naja. Van Beveren. Great to see you, Naja, one of our Explorer Club members. And Yasmin Smith is with us too. Oh, super. Hello, Yasmin. Great to see you as well. We, we love Yasmin and we always love it when you uh, join our shows. The one on the corner is the house where my great-great-grandfather lived. He this one? Yeah, he, he was a uh, number 76. That is nice, Barry. He was a photographer and had a store here. Oh, Did wow. he? Yeah. <laughs> there used I mean, to be many stores here, bakeries, was uh, it? garages. Uh, so it was a busy, a busy like harbour place? Yeah, this was after the, the harbour was uh, closed. I uh, see, I see. Right. Hey, Tilly's also with us. Hello, Tilly. Good to see you, Tilly. All the Shirley way from New Hullen. Jersey. And Shirley Hulleman from Ontario, Canada. Good afternoon, Shirley. Hey, uh, Barry, can you say hello to Shirley from Ontario? Hey, Shirley. All the way from Ontario. There's a lot of Dutch Whoa. people on Ontario. Ontario. A lot of Dutch people. Did you know there are 15 million Dutch people outside the Netherlands? Nearly as many who live here. Unbelievable. Yeah, no, 15 million. So this is the Robberstraat, is it? Yeah. What's a robber? Not really sure. No? <laughs> In English, do you know what a robber is? Yeah. Someone who steals Still things. Still got wallet. Yeah, yeah, you don't have to worry about it. And yeah, you got your hands full. Yeah, well, no, yeah, exactly. You, you, yeah. Right now, you're the other one. Right, yeah, 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 you're right. Right now, you're safe. Look at these beautiful buildings. So we're walking into the city of Khorokum now, yeah. into the historical city centre. The first thing that you see as you come in, I mean, it's just sitting there quietly, nonchalantly, not showing itself off, but look at this building, 1613. Man, wow. 16, 15. 16, 15, does it say? Hey, and Joe Tennant's just oh, tuned in, just smell. in time to see this lovely tote haven. It's about to That table. is beautiful. So this is uh, obviously built in the, in the, uh, in the middle of the so-called Dutch Golden Age. Oh. The age when the Netherlands... Uh, oh, can you see it? I've just spotted all the lovely baskets of oh. pretty flowers. Honestly, there's, there is a reason why these guys won the most beautiful fortified city, because the way that you look after the city is unique. Try to... People put flowers out, but nobody puts as many flowers out as you guys. People oh. put different colours out, but nobody matches the colour. Look at this. This view is amazing. Look at this view. Yeah, nice Do you know what I love flowers. about this view is the, the flowers always match the red of the uh, the building in the background. Yeah. This was the Bruchwachter's house, wasn't it? Yeah, correct. The, the Bridgman's house. 
It looks older than it is. It's from 1910. I know. We had to break the illusion once. It was sad. It was sad. It looks like an old <laughs> Renaissance building, but it, it isn't that old. Tammy Ann loves it. She says it's amazing. I think it's one of the first buildings in Gorkum that uses concrete. Oh, really? Oh, really? you broke the illusion even more now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but this, my friends, is the city of Gorkum. We're going to just stop and stand here for a moment. Hey, take... Lauren Hill recognises it from some of our other tours. We've been here a number of times. Uh, this was one of the first places I came when we started exploring Hidden Holland. And you've just got to take this place in. This is a, an old... If I'm not mistaken, 16th century or 17th century harbour in the middle of in the middle of the, oh, in Bobby, middle of the city. Oh, there's a boat coming in. This is the end or, end of the River Linger. Yeah. yeah. Over there, uh, next to the block, there the Merveid is situated. So uh, it's absolutely beautiful. Hello, Joy Crusher. Hello, Tilly. Hello, Roger. Hey, Bobby. There's some boats coming in. So this is just a, one of the most beautiful areas. Are they coming in or are they going out? If you've never been here before, you That's really need to question. you need to come you need to come down here and check it out. So we've Who got the, we've got the locks over there that let the boats in and out. So now you get to pick a boat. Oh, and, then, and look at the seat, the seating area over there. So nice. This is beautiful. If you've never been here before, then I highly recommend that you get a, you get yourself down here when you can finally return. And if you do have a story about uh, the Netherlands, maybe you wanted to come here this year but you weren't able to, um, or maybe you're planning to come sometime this year or next year, then tell us about it in the comments. We always love to hear from you guys. The leader says it's beautiful. She can't get enough. Look at that. It is beautiful. May Hotchkiss Johnson says, what province are we in? Barry? I guess it's the south of Holland. South Holland. Yeah. There south we go. Holland. Yeah, so this area is fascinating because it was very much fought over back in the 12, 13, 1400s by the Counts of Holland and the Dukes of Brabant. And there's a lot of castles around this area as you go up to South Bommel, up to Teal. Yeah. And that was because there was so much conflict on the border with the, the Counts and the Dukes, wasn't there? People don't realise that the Netherlands itself was never one big country, but off, uh, you know, for a long time consisted of um, dukedoms and countdoms yeah. that, were, that were very much opposed to one another for a long time. Yes. Um, until, until, this is what I learned, until the 1400s when they learned to trade together and then the power that came from that allowed them to buy more ships and then rise in, in power in, in the maritime, you know. You know your history, Bob. Yeah, man. It's called, uh, <laughs> this is, it's called um, something like provincial complementation or it's basically where like in Holland you had fish and in Flanders you had uh, grain and you needed grain in Brabant, so the Hollanders sailed down to Flanders, took the grain to Brabant, sold a bit, took the rest yeah. for themselves, and it created this really powerful like union of, of provinces. And it's very fascinating, very unique. Yeah. Um, should we walk over the bridge? Look, it's a nice view from look, you the can Peter see the Bridge. Over the, there, the, Petersburg. Yes, the Petersburg, absolutely beautiful today here in Kodkum. This is like the centerpiece of the city. Uh, and I think you'll agree it's beautiful. What are you saying, Billy? Sally Boyle with us. Oh, hi so, Sally. She's been watching all along but she couldn't type so she's managed to comment now. All the way from Tennessee, one of our explorer commanders. Good to see you, Sally. Sally, we're in Khodokum today. We're walking through the old historical harbour, the Linger Harbour. Wrap up soon because we need to get ready and head up to this point. Yeah, for sure. I think, I think we're going to finish uh, just around the other side. Yeah, other side of the Lingerhaf, and what do you think? It's been a beautiful yeah. tour. I think Barry knows everyone in Forakum. I think he does. <laughs> Look at this, it's absolutely spectacular. If you're enjoying it or you have enjoyed it, please leave a comment and do consider supporting our uh, mission, joining the Explorers Club. Well, is it up there this time? Yeah. Should we have a look? That's actually from the previous building that was uh, here. It's beautiful. Look at this. So you've got the stone in the middle there. It says Inden Blow and Hout, 1640. I don't know if you guys can see that too well. 1640 there in the middle, but that actual building was rebuilt a bit later on. And if we uh, if we're quick enough, we might be able to. We've got Jack Brackman with us as well. Oh, hi Jack. Says, Good morning. Great, morning. great to see you and Michelle. Jack, hope you're doing well. Jack's one of our long-time members. Uh, and our whole. Oh, Adele. Oh. Yes. What are you saying? Thank you. Oh. She needs to cross. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. Thanks, Barry. 
Uh, yeah, Jack and Michelle have been our long-time members. It's great to see you guys. No problem. Yeah. Our channel is to provide you with a window into the Netherlands, yeah. so that wherever you are in the world, you're not Hi. limited by the place uh, that you are um, situated. You can still see the country. All you need to do is tune into the show. And because of our Explorer Club members, who pay an annual uh, subscription or a monthly subscription, yep. uh, people around the world can watch it for free. Yep. It's very hard to not put you on camera, Desiree. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I'm doing my best. I do respect your privacy. I do respect it. I do respect it. Uh, what's nice is this is the uh, this is the Gracht in uh, in Khodakum. And if you uh, come to Khodakum, the nice thing is you can come here for an afternoon and you can see everything. Or you can spend a couple of days here. Um, it's a fascinating city, lots of history. The, um, the waterways. Are we going to make today? it down into the square to finish or not? I don't know how far it is, but I just want to... Barry, will we yes. make it down to the square to finish? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Let's, gonna, that's the way we need that? to go anyway. Okay, great. Are you going to leave? Yeah, I'm going to leave. The it's kids very nice to meet you. It's so nice to meet you. Yeah, Maybe we'll see you later on. Maybe we'll see you later on. Thanks. I'll put you on again. Brilliant. Thank you. Okay, so for the last, the, thanks uh, Desiree, for the last part of the tour, we're going to head down to the centre of the city. Right, we're hot footing it to the last oh, stop. it's so beautiful. You see the people sitting out here, the bicycles, just enjoying the warm weather. This is what the Dutch way of life, for me, is all about. You know, in the end, uh, we work hard and, you know, they play hard and it's, it's just a beautiful, a beautiful life. And uh, it's so nice to see people back in the cities and back in the towns. We're now going to head down to the square and see what we can see. We're on the Langerdijk right now. And this is a lovely little bar. I'd, I'd really like to have a drink in that bar one time. This one behind you. It always looks so gezellig in that little bar. Yeah, it does, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, so we're headed down from the dike now, which is the Langerdijk, right? That was the sign on the wall. And we're yeah, headed... but this is the Borensteeg. The LE. Watch out for the bike. Bikes. Welcome to Holland. Yeah, really, that's <laughs> fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what a lot of people like as well, Barry, uh, around the world, is to see the cobblestones in the Netherlands. We, yeah. we sort of take them for granted, don't we? But yeah. these stones are very sort of. People, it really reminds people of being here and of the country. Yeah. Um, these ones were in a large part of the city. Many streets were uh, of those uh, squared ones. Um, yeah. But these uh, are very uh, slippery when it's uh, uh, wet when it's or wet. frozen. Yeah, yeah. So uh, they are uh, all uh, almost. All gone. Beautiful stones, though, and like we take it for granted that they're here. You know, we just yeah. walk on them and we don't think about yeah. it. Uh, what's nice as well is these old. These look like sort of 1930s houses on the left-hand side. It's a lovely little stake, is it called? Yeah. What is Correct. a stake? Is it a road from a dike? An alley. An alley. Yeah. Oh, I see. I Not see. Specifically for the dike. Hey, we've got Els Stutz with us. Hello, Els. Great to see you guys. And if you are just tuning in and you're watching the Dutch World Life, we're in Chodekum today for the last part of our virtual tour. There's word on the street that there will be a second tour, but right now we can't confirm that. We're headed into the centre to finish the tour today. It's to finish a this tour, yeah. To finish this one. Barry has a special surprise for us. At 3pm Dutch time. We don't know what it is yet, but I we might it, be filming that. I'm hoping it's good. I'm, I'm hoping it's good. Listen, if you are tuned in <laughs> so and you want, you want us to say hi to you, please leave a comment just below this video. Just type your name, type your location, let us know where you're tuning in from. And if you do have any connection to Horkum at all, uh, maybe you grew up here or you live here now or you visited here or you'd like to visit here, uh, then put that, put that in the chat as well. It's always nice to hear from people. It's a gorgeous day. It's super warm. I've got my shorts on. Barry also has followed suit, got his shorts on. Yeah. And, uh, we're taking you through the centre of Horkum. On the, the right-hand side, we've got rather a nice building. Quite a special building, this one. Have you seen it before? I have seen it before, I have to admit. I have, but could you tell us the story behind it? Can you guys see that? This used to be an orphanage. Oh, wow. And it's got, got a great stone on top of the door. <laughs> it's busy with bikes and cars and everything. So it's called Hausa Matthijs Marijke. Yeah, so I think it's 18th century. Should be on the... Ah. It's absolutely beautiful. Yasmin's uh, saying she's loving this. Thanks so much. I've not been out of the house in weeks, so this is just what I needed. Oh. Great, great to have you with Yasmin. Well, extra long talk. He's so nice. Yasmin. And I want to shout out Olaf van Koten as well from Khodakum, who enjoys our tours, who doesn't get out too much. Hey. And he he uh, loves our channel. We're we going for this way. As well. Oh my word, what's this, Barry? Very brief stop. Oh. As I told you, this was an orphanage. Ah, yeah. And they got this little 
uh, space up here. It's now cemented up. But uh, people could and uh, would leave their baby here <gasps> if they uh, could not take care for it. Really? Uh, yeah. Oh, Is that? Wow. Yeah. And there was uh, someone uh, uh, waking on the other side yeah. uh, to, uh, to pick them up. So, uh, really? Wow. And what, 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 what time period are we talking about here, Barry? I think the, the 17th century. Wow. So not too long ago then. No. Wow. So this was the side of the orphanage? Yeah. The vase house? It's a shame that we cannot uh, go inside because these are the stained glass windows ah. uh, that tell the story of Hugo de Groot. Oh, oh wow. right, I see, Hugo de Groot. If you're familiar with that guy, Hugo de Groot, leave a little comment. We're about to uh, finish the show now in Chodokum, so if you've enjoyed it, please leave Barry a little comment and say thanks to Del him. Blue, anyone? Oh, what? Oh, Del's blue star. Oh, my word, is it? Well, hello. <laughs> Oh my word, look, Del's Blue Store, everyone. We're not going to go in there now, but if you would like us to go in there and take a, a 360 photo, we definitely will do that. Look at that store. Maybe, maybe we can visit this a bit later. Yeah, certainly. There may well be a second uh, um, stream, but we are just about to finish in the centre of Fulton. Looks like it's very busy, uh, Barry. Yeah, we are, of course, the most beautiful world city. Obviously, people oh, want to see what the, the wait, deal no, is about. Wait, no, I remember it now. Yeah, after we did, after we, we came, started our company. We came with Robin for we did. a meal. We did, we did. Oh, we it started was winter our, and it looked so different. Yeah. We signed the papers for our company in Amsterdam and then I suggested we come to Chodokum to have a meal. Oh, and the celebrate. fountain wasn't on. I mean, look at this, it's spectacular. You've got, oh, wow. So this is the old town hall. This is the old town hall, yeah. Which is, uh, this 1860. Is, yeah, it's got more of a French style, that, hasn't it? Yeah. Uh, than a renaissance style and in the background you've got the old church of Kodakum. Uh if I put the binoculars on we might be able to get a better view it is the old church is a bit crooked isn't it Barry uh, the tower is yeah why is that uh, because it uh, uh, the ground is it, sinking it, it, it was sinking when it was built but they corrected it halfway during construction <laughs> right so the the top part is, uh, is uh, <laughs> Pretty good math for the first time. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. This is brilliant. We've got lots of people out today enjoying their uh, their lunch, their coffees. Yeah. Uh, can we walk through and finish over in that corner? Is that possible? Yeah. I'll just, I'll just, the town hall? I'll just follow. No, the town hall doesn't have steps. It's not a Renaissance town hall, so oh. unfortunately, the French didn't favour the old steps, like in. Uh, yeah. You want to try it? <laughs> it's up to you. Yeah. Uh, but listen, if you've enjoyed the tour, please leave Barry a comment. Uh, we've had a lovely walk today through the city of Kodakum. This whole live tour is sponsored by our Explorers Club members. Without you guys, we just couldn't do what we do. Basically, we moved out here two years ago uh, in a caravan. We've been able to survive through the COVID period because of our members who pay their subscriptions and people who buy our products and buy from our stores. So if you would like to support the channel and get the opportunity to order your own live tour from anywhere in the Netherlands, which is significantly cheaper than a uh, Ticket, then type the word club now we've got a special annual subscription uh, and it's because of people who've decided to join up people like Willeke uh, and Leona van den Dam um, and Marianne Offmans and Naja uh, and Shane and Margaret Ransenhofer and uh, Paula Ball and everybody else if I've missed you out thanks so much for becoming a member of the club uh, we are probably going to do another tour but we're going to leave it to Barry he's taken us safely through the uh, centre of Podicum it's, it's absolutely brimming with people uh, and we're going to finish at the old church, which I think deserves a slow, a slow walk up. It's, it's a spectacular church. Uh, God comes part, like Barry says, God comes part of the so-called Bible Belt here in the Netherlands. Um, and this is the church which stands so tall and proud in the middle of the city. It's honestly, it's a spectacular city in the summer. Hey, he says, fantastic tour. Thank you, Barry, Adele and Bob. Oh, hey. so good. So Peter good. Keep says, thanks, Barry. Alexander de Boone says, we want more. Obviously, hey. do, Alexander. We're here in We Falcon. want more. Your you should favorite. visit one time, Alexander. He should, he should come down, shouldn't he? He'd, I think he'd like it. I think Alexander would like it. Listen, shout out to you, my friend. Shout out to Shane Conway. Also, Rebecca van der Linden says, love the historical tour. Thank you, Bob, Adele and Barry. You're most welcome, hey. Rebecca. It's our pleasure. Alida says, thanks, everyone. Hannes Forster says, thank you well, Barry. Hey. Uh, we've, we've got lots of people watching today. Wherever you are in the world, uh, we're in Holcom today and we want to sort of be the window for you into the Netherlands. So whether you're sitting on your sofa in Canada or you're sitting on your veranda in the USA in Michigan enjoying the show, 
Um, the whole point of our channel is to reconnect you to the Netherlands and to people around the world who miss the country and the places and the people. What we've done is spent the last two years dedicating ourselves to creating um, a way for you guys to experience the country without actually having to leave your house or leave your armchair. Uh, this is the uh, tourist Hello, office. Baby, baby. We'll give them a little bit of free promotion. They're yeah. good guys, they do good stuff. Uh, and they've done really well, Mui Hod, come in promoting the local award, yeah. haven't they? Can you still hire e-bikes from here? Yeah, sure. That's a great idea for the city, so if, you, if yeah. people come you down. You can even uh, rent them uh, about the Water Port, where the ferry uh, oh, is. Oh, can you? Uh, oh, nice. Uh, right. So, uh, great. But we have a 3 p.m. appointment, yeah. so right. I guess uh, we we're should We're going to finish up? up? Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, uh, this was uh, the city of Khodakum, as it brought was. to you by uh, Barry van Baalen and Ms. Adele Jackson. Uh, you've been watching the Hidden Island Road Trip. We may well be coming live again later on, but um, thanks so much to everyone who's uh, joined the uh, show today, and thanks to everyone who supports us through the Explorer Club. We Yay! appreciate it. Uh, so until next time, yep. look after yourselves, look after each other, and... Bye-bye. Visit Gorkum. You forgot to say keep it Dutch. Oh, keep it Dutch. Perfect. Hey.